Hello everyone, this is Intro to DeFi uh, and in this video we're gonna learn what is minting, how it works and how to mint. Minting can be described as borrowing in conservative finance. Think like this, you go to a bank and ask for $100,000 credit. Bank will ask you two basic questions before giving you money. One, how will you pay back my money? And two, if you cannot pay back my money, what will you give to me? So you answer this question like this. I'm gonna build a business, blah, blah, blah. And I have a house worth $200,000. If I cannot pay you back, take my house. And banks don't care about that much about pr first question if you answer the second one. Uh, and in our scenario, they will give you $100,000. The house is your collateral, and your collateral ratio is 200%. Because you owe $100,000, and your collateral is worth $200,000, so your C ratio is 2. If your house's value goes down, your C ratio goes down. And if it goes up, your C ratio goes up. It's easy. And it's the normal conservative finances borrowing system and now in decentralized finance put FTM phantom in house instead of the house and put FUSD instead of USD this is minting in short so why should I mint for example you think that FTM is undervalued which I think it is undervalued as fuck and you bought $10,000 worth of FTM, then you saw an opportunity to buy Ethereum with your technical analysis, but you don't want to sell FTM. Instead, you lock your FTM to mint FUSD, then trade FUSD for Ethereum, then sell Ethereum for higher price, then you pay back your FUSD, and make a profit without spending more and make a profit so let's mint an wallet. there are two collaterals that can be used for minting one is WFTM and the other is SFTM and let's cover WFTM first WFTM is wrapped phantom wrapped FTM. It's like FTM.RAR or FTM.ZIP and there's always one to one ratio on swapping FTM to WFTM and in order to use our FTM in DeFi we wrap it. So let's wrap. We go to FSwap and for example let's make 10 WFTMs and submit enter your password and as you see it's easy now we have 10 WFTMs and let's go to fmint lock collateral and choose FTM here and Let's lock all of it. Submit. Enter our password. And we locked. We locked our collateral. Then we can mint since. Let's go to DeFi. F mint again and click mint since and you can mint as many as you want your C ratio is here collateral ratio is here and the minimum C ratio in Phantom DeFi is 3 to 300 percent so if you have $10 of 
FTM, 10 dollars worth of FTM, you can m mint 3.33 dollars worth FUSD at maximum, so care for that. And if you have a C ratio above 500%, you will uh, earn rewards. And here is minting fees, 0.5%. Uh, and that's it. It's that easy. If I submit, I will mint FUSD. And in Phantom Finance, there are not just FUSD, but many, many synthetics like FBAND, FBNB, FBTC, Chinese Yuan, Ethereum, Gold, Silver, Oil, etc. And everything is coming. These synthetics are not the real assets, but a representation of them and their price feeds are coming from decentralized oracles like Band or Chainlink and Phantom has its own oracle too and you can not only mint the FUSD but everything just do not forget that minted asset is your debt minting FBTC F Bitcoin is not investing in Bitcoin it's the opposite if BTC value goes up, your debt goes up. And let's mint. So now I have point point oh five FUSD. And after that maybe I can buy for example WFDM. Let's swap it. And we we are trying to swap our debt with WFDM in Phantom Uniswap. I will cover F Uniswap. In the next video, how look at the pools work, etc. But for you to see now, I have I have 1.4 WFTM extra. I bought it with the minted FUSD. So you can think like that. And the second collateral is SFTM. It stands for staked FTM. For the first time in crypto world, you can use your staked asset in DeFi. It's called liquid staking and I think it's it's very good, it's almost revolutionary. And if you locked your staking, you can mint F FTM equals to your staked FTM, then lock as collateral, then mint. For example, I hope I did lock this delegation, let's see. So there's a mint SFTM button, so let's mint 10 SFTM because I staked, I staked 10 FTMs in, in this validator. So now I minted 10. SFTM, let's go to DeFi again, FMint, Lock Collateral, choose SFTM here, let's go for 100%, and as you see your C ratio goes up here because I lock more collateral, let's lock it all. So these are the same steps again. So that's it. If you don't pay back your debt, your collateral won't be unlocked. So please spend your borrowed money wisely. It's not a game. For now there is no liquidations, but in the future there will be. So please 
please, please, please take care about your C ratio. Don't make it go below 300%. And if you if you go if your C ratio goes 300%, you can always lock more collateral or pay back some of your FUSDs or FBTCs, whatever you borrowed. And lastly, to incentivize minting, there is six percent APR gains on average and so even if you don't spend your debt you can mint to earn rewards and you can claim rewards here and that's it that's minting in the next video as I said before we will be covering F Uniswap how liquidity pools work and how to be a liquidity provider so that's it. See you in the next video. Goodbye.